Hello everyone! We've been in our house for about a week now and we're just starting to properly get things how we want them, where we want them, put away, unpacked into the right places. Don't get me wrong, there are still boxes everywhere. And I mean like everywhere. Um, but the room that I'm happiest with at the moment is definitely our bedroom, which is where I'm sat now. Now I love watching these kind of like bedroom tour, house tour videos. I'm incredibly nosy when it comes to other people's houses. So I thought I'd make one so that you can be nosy with our house. I'm basically going to show you around the room, tell you where a couple of bits are from, let you know some of the stuff that I want to do, that I want to change, that we haven't quite done yet, and basically just give you a nose around what I would definitely say is my dream bedroom. As soon as we viewed this house and I saw this room, I saw this space, I saw the view from the massive windows, I was sold and wanted to move in instantly and instantly started planning what I wanted to do with the space, where I wanted to put the bed, what I wanted to get from different places to make the room feel warmer because it is quite a big space as you'll see. But yeah, I'm excited to show you what we've got done so far and I'm excited to talk to you about what I want to do so let's just get into it. So I'm now stood at our door, our ensuite door is here and this is the doorway through into our bedroom and the first thing you see is the chest of drawers that took three hours to assemble. It took us a very long time to put together um, but this is the first view you get there's some dog bowls and bed here, just because we haven't got the dogs used to going through into the other room yet, which I'll show you at some point. There's some picture frames and some mirrors wrapped up that I want to put on this wall. So this space is kind of quite empty at the moment. There's gonna be a lamp, a big lamp there as well, which I've chosen, but we are saving for. So yeah, pictures on that wall, lamp, and then this chest of drawers. Styling up this chest of drawers, I love all the pieces that are on it at the moment, but I still am tweaking with them, moving them around, not quite sure what I want to do yet. I am absolutely obsessed and in love with my huge hurricane jar from Ikea. It was a bargain, they are seven pounds. Like, if you want a hurricane jar, you have to get yourself to an Ikea. Um, we've got our Planet Earth book which is a favourite of mine and James's, and then a, a coffee table book by a photographer called Richard Pelham. Then we have the snails. They're actually getting a new big glass container soon. There's two sets of them. These were the babies, and these are some sub-adults, but that will all be explained in another video, I'm sure. Then we have this succulent, which I love this pot, and my elephant, but I think there's something... There's something still missing in this whole setup scenario. Um, and then I have one of these baskets, which absolutely everyone has their house plants in. But I love them. I'm hoping this little house plant is gonna grow up nice and big and fill up this space at some point. So swinging around from this chest of drawers entrancey section of the room is a collection of things <laughs> in an odd kind of corner. This mirror is going to go up on the wall very soon but the other way around so it's longer. And then we have a chest which actually has a few things in it from both of our dogs that passed away last year so this is very special to us. And then we have some pictures few little eucalyptus leaf things, some more pictures, and another plant pot, and then our TV unit. Now, what I'm imagining for this corner is a TV table in the corner, like a corner unit, so then I can style the pictures maybe inside the unit and have the TV on top. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I also desperately want a radiator cover because I think they just make things look so much tidier and smarter and just lovely in general. And 
there's me in the mirror. <laughs> Hi. Swinging around from this view is possibly my favourite part of the room. The bed. <laughs> now, we have a fan here at the moment which we're going to store away and then there's my childhood teddies in the corner that are there for the moment, but this bed side table lamp setup gives me so much joy every single time I look at it. You have no idea. Every time I walk in this room, it makes me so happy. I think we definitely need a couple of like ploofier, ploofier, is that a word? Ploofier, like these pillows. I'm holding the lens cap, let's put that down. Yeah, some like ploofier, these pillows, because the cases are just quite a lot bigger than the cushions inside them. But I love all of the fabrics that are on this bed. I love the natural fabrics of these pillows, which match the colour of these ones. And then I do definitely want to get another blanket for this corner that helps bring in the colour of this rug. I am obsessed with this rug. <laughs> I'm just wagging my finger around. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful, flat woven, like an oatmeal-y colour. It looks kind of grey in the camera light, but... It just brings in the more oatmeal-y colours from here. I want a more oatmeal-y blanket for the end of the bed. And it just makes me so happy just to look at it. It's so beautiful. I definitely think we need something on these two walls here. I don't know what. I'm thinking a big pampas grass in that corner in a lovely vase. Just to, again, bring some more of the natural kind of woody, earthy vibes into the room. But yeah, as I say, this part of the room brings me an incredible amount of joy. The lamps and hardware in this room are slightly different colours. I've gone for like a brushed brass and the lamps are actually a slightly more goldy colour. But I still love them. I think they're beautiful. I think the squareness of the lampshades is brilliant because the edges of the bed are so soft. And then you've got the beautiful like square, more rigid lampshades. I love that. This view, with both of our side tables, our bed, my coffee on the side there, we come round to the main windows. Now, as you can see, our curtain pole is still on the floor down here. We've yet to put that up. I've actually lost an end. I think it's in a box in our eaves space at the moment, so that needs finding. But what I am struggling for is curtains that are this wide, and I'll show you why in a second. So I've just pulled back the very kind of corporate office style blinds just to show you just how wide this window is so it's double doors but it's also those thin windows either side and trying to find curtains that are that wide is proving very difficult especially in like the color that I want I'm thinking kind of a beigey oatmeal color with some like brass or gold accents and I found some that I like but they do not do them in this size so come back to me on that one one thing I mentioned earlier was the view out of this window. Now, I've just come out of the double doors and we have a little balcony area. There's a gate that goes around to our back garden down there. I'm doing my best not to show you the front of the neighbours' houses just over that way. But look at this view. On a clear day, through there, you can just see for absolute miles, miles and miles and miles, it's so peaceful. And then this is the corner of our house and then there's more of the house around there, but I don't want to show you too much. And um, we were very blessed when we moved in to have lots and lots and lots of bright sunshine. I'm gonna turn you around. Yes, we were very blessed when we moved in to have a bright, sunshiny, beautiful day. So it was incredible out here and just so green and so beautiful. And we feel so lucky to have this incredible space. I am going to do you a garden tour at some point so you'll be able to see just how much space we have here. I honestly cannot begin to talk about how lucky we are and how lucky we feel to have found this place in London. It's crazy to us. I'll take you back inside. As I was saying outside, we feel so incredibly lucky to be here. I can't even explain to you 
how much space we have in comparison to where we last lived but also I've lived in flats for the first four years of living in London so my first no three years I lived in flats of my training so my foundation course first and second year and to move to the house that we had we felt lucky but now to move here it's like a whole nother level and I can't wait to show you guys more of the house and to share more of it and it just feels more versatile like we can do more and it's definitely a place to be proud of. I'm now going to take you through into our dressing room. Yes, dressing room. <laughs> so from this view of the bed, which is where we were, there's the door that we came in through and the chest of drawers that I was just talking about. So you walk this way to our dressing room, which is through this little door. We've got some dog toys and stuff there for Winnie to come and get. And then you walk into our dressing room. I showed this on my stories the other day while I was trying to unpack it because there was just stuff everywhere. There's still a bag of stuff there and two boxes of stuff to find homes for. And you know, it's not the biggest room in the world, but just to have this space, I feel so, so lucky. If anyone would be interested in having a dressing room tour and seeing what we keep in our drawers, please let me know in the comments. But yeah, this is our space and it looks out onto part of the back garden. And this little gardeny bit here is basically just James and I get to see this bit. So this feels like our little piece of garden, which is lovely. A little bit of fence fallen down there that we need to fix, but there's a couple of those around and we're looking forward to getting out there and starting. So from standing in the dressing room, and our, room, our bedroom is that way, there is a whole nother room through there. That's the office and pet room, slash it's got a coat rail in it, but it's such a hot mess at the moment that I, I cannot even bring myself to show you it. I've got a dressing table coming and all sorts for that room, so that will be on another video. For now, I'll give you one last look around this incredible space that we feel so lucky to have. And I feel so lucky to be able to share with you guys too. I'll just let you see how it's looking at the moment. And hopefully I'll be able to do another one of these videos to update you all in a few months time. You can see the progress. As I just said, I really want to be able to, in a few months time, do another one of these videos. There's curtains that I want to get, a big mirror that I want to get, a shoe storage thingy that I want to get. And just be able to show you where we've got to and how we're doing with the house and things like that. I'm hoping to film another couple of these videos to show you other parts of the house and show you around the garden and just things like that. I'm really enjoying having this space to feel creative in. Um, and I just love videos like this. I love watching people show you around their homes and I love just being nosy on people's general vlogs about like when they're using their kitchens and, and where they put things and how they store things and how they style things up. So. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like, please subscribe. Haven't said that for a while, that feels odd. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully some more home content coming soon. Um, and maybe some content with the dogs because we've got so much space for them to run around in and enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed having a nosy around our house just as much as I love having a nosy around other people's houses. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> While I've been doing this, look at what these lot have been doing. Doing the Shakespeare. Doing your Shakespeare. Oh. With a teeny ween. And some lunch and a Lola. And say hello! Bonus doggos! Bonus doggos! Bonus James. <laughs> look at you. Twitchy face. Where's me? Watching a fly. Say bye. Oh, big stretch. <laughs>